What's up, Aries? It's Anomaly, and it's after dark. I don't know why I said it like that, but I just wanted to try it with a new voice. Sorry about the raspiness of my voice. <clears throat> I was yelling a bit this weekend, so I don't know if some of you were yelling. I said this weekend, this week, these last two days. I don't know if y'all were yelling or anything of that nature. Some of you, your ears could feel a little, you know, off. And I was getting to, like, you guys could be, like, super tired. And that could just be, like, I mean, it could be because, you know, you're not feeling well. This also could be, though, because you're, you know, moving fast. You're putting in a lot of work. You're doing a lot of things. So, um, since it's after dark, you know, sometimes things that happen that will come out in light they don't and they're more likely going to come out in the dark so i made this cool little deck here and um a while back so it's just things i wrote on it they're random some of these could pertain to you and they could not aries sun moon rising um all right you guys could have um something to do with sagittarius or you could have some messages in a Sagittarius video <laughs> that I haven't done yet, I presume. All right, let's keep it going, Spirit. Sagittarius could also be a significant placement for you, Aries. All right, I'm bus stop in the reverse, so some of y'all could be receiving a car or coming into getting a car, being able to financially afford one. Maybe some of y'all are kind of on the defense about having to take the bus somewhere or having to take a public transportation. And then I have on the right path, pass, go, collect 200. So if you were questioning, man, am I doing the right things? Am I doing? Am I going the right direction? Am I making the right decisions? Is spirit pleased with me? Is God or, you know, the most high? Excuse me, happy with me? Things of that nature. Boom. You're doing great. And then I got they cheating on you bit so you know b word so some of y'all could be <clears throat> calling someone out you know helping out some friends here some of y'all could be experiencing some type of truth that's coming out for you about a certain relationship See, I saw that that's not your baby card, so, yeah, that kind of goes with that whole cheating card there. One more card for Aries, after Dark Tarot. Just some small channel messages. Don't trip. Three of them flew out. Give me one. They're pregnant by me. Okay, so... Alright Aries, I don't know if you do an exposing or somebody else might be exposing it. I'm not sure, but somebody is exposing that somebody was dealing with somebody else and that you know, oh what you think might be yours, it really isn't. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna play on the reading today, this evening, but let's see. The energy for Aries spirit. And again, please allow this reading. <coughs> to be um, subjective, helpful to the Aries. Please don't allow this to allow others to manipulate them or for them to manipulate others. The first card that flew out of deck is the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So you or someone that you know could unfortunately be experiencing some bad karma that's coming into place. Please tell me more. Knight of Pentacles. All right, so something has been like, it's, you've been waiting on it for a long time, or someone's been waiting on something to come in for a long time. It's just been sitting there. And it's kind of like when I'm looking at it underneath this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, it's almost like whatever this desire or what is that was supposed to been had kicked in, it's like you're being taunted and not taunted like, oh, here, come grab it here no try to grab it from here try to grab it from here no not like that this is more like this is here for you all you have to do is get here and that's kind of like you're doing everything right past past go collect the 200 and that's kind of like you getting whatever this 
pinnacle, uh, Knight of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. So there's some type of fresh new start that's there for you. You have an idea of it, but it's not here yet. <clears throat> Let's keep going, Spirit. This is for Aries. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so Aries, I feel like <clears throat> some of you are in this stage of stagnation with the hangman. On one end, you have this offer of a fresh new start coming in, whether it be from an actual individual or person, or from your team, or from an ancestor, but it's there. And then on the other hand, you have this Three of Pentacles, where it's like you're looking to others to help guide you, maybe. And it seems like, on the one hand, where this Ace of Cups is coming out, it's like, bam, this is just for all for you, Aries. This is yours. This, this is your fresh start. But your real life stuck on allowing somebody else to guide you or to give you directions towards something that is very far out of reach. It may not even be yours with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And that could be why it's very far out of reach because it doesn't belong to you, Aries. It's just a possibility, right? So, tell me a little bit about this Spirit of Pentacles, Spirit for Aries. What's going on here? The Spirit of Pentacles and the Snight of Pentacles. You have the Sun card that came out. You have the Knight of Swords. And you have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> so you can have a mother figure who assists in this um, type, this communication, like where you guys work together to try to find out clarity to things or the truth. But this allowed, like. By going this route, though, there's there's like something in the distance, right? Can you tell me a little bit more about this Queen of Pentacles and this Knight of Swords? What is she saying? What is this energy talking about? Okay. You have the Four of Swords in reverse. The Nine of Swords. And the Knight of Cups. And then the King of Swords. So it's like... <clears throat> This could be a spirit visiting you in this Queen of Cups energy with the Four of Swords in reverse. Because I get this feeling like somebody just rising up, like into those swords for some reason. But like, literally, like someone could be visiting you within your dreams and the things that are keeping you um, not focused or like really like tugging at your heartstrings, like really messing with your mind. In this nine of, swords, nine of Swords energy, it's like this Queen of Cups ancestor offers you this Knight of Cups, which is a sincere cup of love, cup of care, um, value of emotions. And this allows you to basically sit in this energy of a King of Swords where like you're able to maintain position, you're able to say all the right things and also control how it is that you talk, what it is that you do and don't say, right? So, Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles spirit. All right, this could deal with a home or some type of union. So you could be working with someone else or been dealing with someone um, in some type of long-term situation. 
the Ace of Cups and the Hangman. All right. Five of Swords, yeah. So, <clears throat> something was blocked here. But something is being blocked. Possibly as you accept this love from that, you know, ancestral spirit in your dreams and understanding, you know, emotions and whatnot and understanding how love could be beautiful, how it could be peaceful, how it could be nice, and how it could be traumatic. On the bottom of the deck is the moon card, cancer energy, strength, Leo energy, and the ace of wands. Like, literally learning how to and you I don't know what you're doing behind the scenes or what you're doing in the dark or what you do in your own privacy but you're learning how to be graceful with what hurts I would say be graceful with what burns inside like what really just tears you up like you're learning to be graceful with that and learning to kind of accept what's good and what just kind of fell apart right three of pentacles hang there oh so many so many i'm gonna put them all back uh -oh. just want to make sure it's not much Three of Pentacles and the Hangman Spirit. All right. Ten of Swords in the Reverse. <clears throat> so. Now, remember I said the four of swords look like somebody rising up. Okay, well, now we got this ten of swords in the reverse. So, this is something else that's coming up. So, you go from being in that four, that, that four of swords energy into this ten. It's almost like you may have been working with another ancestor as well. Who you're kind of bound to with this four of wands energy. Aries, if this makes sense. But it looks like by you dealing with this individual, you block this new, not this, by you dealing with this individual, this energy, you're literally blocking your fresh start. And then it also looks like though, for those of you choosing to accept this new way of being and seeing love and understanding the concept of a fresh new start of loving yourself. It looks like you say goodbye to all those things that hurt you, that don't make you who you are today. You guys could have like a haunted house, kind of. Hey, what does they shake some? Mm hmm. Dang, that thing could have been. So now, as y'all choose to accept this love from spirit over here with this Ace of Cups, or even, under, and that's understanding within yourself in the physical world, not just you, just, you know, talking it up and chopping it up with spirit. Like, as you come to understand this, it looks like you're pushing something out of your house, Aries. Some type of energy. And I'm not sure that it belongs. Yeah, devil on the bottom of the card. Scorpio energy. Hmm. Can you tell me more? Why is this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse for Aries? Let's see. Some of y'all could be listening to the baby. Y'all could be chilling. Queen of Swords. Three of Cups. Cherry in the reverse. So there could be a single feminine energy. Mm, you sound like the Crypt Keeper, Nate. 
Yeah, there could be a single feminine energy where it's like this queen of swords. Like you probably truly respect the things that they say to you and how they direct you. This is like, this could be a very close friend or family member or someone that you work in close proximity with. But by you working with this individual, over here where this Ace of Cups is, this individual brings two of cups in reverse and a chariot in reverse. It's like this Queen of Swords talks about tries to direct you in this group and the direction that's being given is not what's up. Like, this is wild. Why is the two of cups in the reverse and the chariot in reverse? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. They could not want you to deal with, you know what I'm saying, this, this Taurus energy. This Queen of Swords is saying something to you about your friendship or your love interest or your care in this, you know, three-party situation. And they don't want you to offer this cup to this Queen of Pentacles or... They're telling this Queen of Pentacles towards energy not to offer this cup, not to be, not to do that. Something of that nature. Queen of Cups on the bottom, eight of the cups on the bottom, nine of cups on the bottom, six of swords. Somebody is choosing another route. Like it's like they're choosing to be like strong. They're choosing to have that self-love within and like remain tall. And it looks like they're choosing to walk into that next step of like being able to be loving. Like, you know what I'm saying with this Queen of Cups energy. All right, any, I'm, I'm gonna pull all the cards up and I'm just gonna ask like for advice for you. So let's just cap it. Like one, y'all have some serious activity with <laughs> some of your ancestors. Two, you guys may be being visited within your dreams. Excuse me, from these said ancestors. Three, you could be being guided into um, a place or a space that you're not supposed to be in, Aries. From um, a feminine energy that you respect their word or they, they say things or they stand up for specific things, but somewhere in there whatever this dynamic is of this friendship or a situation they don't want you and another individual to possibly connect so give me three cards for Aries advice this is after dark this is what it, this is just what wouldn't come out in the light this is not what's going to come out of somebody's mouth during the daytime Seven of Cups. And so that's why it's coming out now. Too many. Thank you. Eight of Wands. Eight of Cups. Eight A could be significant to you. It's like take all the traits of who you are and 888. Eight of Pentacles. You take everything that you know how to do. You, you like you're the master of your own life. You control what you do. You get to pick and choose what parts of your identity that you want to put on the forefront, what you want to hide, or what you just choose to embellish in. But as you start to take control of your life, Aries, and start to do what it is that you feel is best, you'll be in this very quick, you know, nice moving energy. And you'll be communicating with a lot of people because you're going to be using all of your talents. And you're going to be traveling, possibly, going to different places, areas, you know what I'm saying? Just getting away and enjoying it, might I add, with this Eight of Pentacles. Like, judgment on the bottom of the deck, good judgment on the bottom. Magician, Aries energy, that's your card. King of Swords, talking with poise, understanding, like, just really being someone that people could speak to and being able to make the proper and concise decisions for yourself with this two of wands about who you're going to give to, how you're going to share, 
and also about how others give and take when it comes to you. And of course, you should feel like that's that nine of pentacles. Like, that's just being single and abundant and feeling great about yourself. Like, that's what's up, Aries, you know. It's unfortunate. It's just different things going on for a few of you all. But that's the after dark tale with Anomaly. So y'all have it up. Peace.